Welcome back to Hallmark Cra for the Pioneer Series, Episode 6, with me, Mr. Sealy P. Is it me, or is there a UFO just floating off to the left of my vision? That's really weird. We're back on Hallmark Cra. I don't know what that is. Never mind. Um, so what we're going to do, we had all the stuff dropped off. I'm thinking we might swap this out sooner than I anticipated or had planned. I need to start clearing our plot, which is just here. So I'm going to get cracking on that straight away. These trees, I don't think, they're not as tall as the other ones that we had on our other plot. But I'm going to start clearing the flat land here. We can't get the caravan placed. I might just go with deck chairs, actually. We got rid of the caravan. It's supposed to be being brought up, but I don't know where the deck chairs... Mind you, deck chairs, if it rains, we're going to be in a bit of a state, aren't we? So, let's get some stuff unloaded. Let's get some stuff cleared. Um, oh, I, think I need to bring up the... Um, the lorry. Right, let's unbuckle. Is there one on the back as well? There is. And that one unbuckled. Like so. We'll get that one done. That one done. Thank you for all the comments. All the people suggesting that to get the cell point to work, you need to repair the vehicle first. I've had some people telling me that's always been the case on every map. I have never encountered that before. I've sold vehicles that haven't had, uh, haven't been repaired or have needed repair and I haven't repaired. Um, but I will try it. Next time I try and get rid of something, if it needs repair, I'll try and repair it first and see if the cell icon comes up. I'm not sure it will, but we'll certainly have a look and give it a go. Let's switch that to that. Up and down. Fantastic. Right. Won't need that for the minute because we won't be unloading anything just yet. I do need to clear a bit of land to get some light in because it's still fairly shady and fairly dark over here. Let's get this off as well. Oh, let's get some of that. Do I give myself enough room? Probably not. Yeah, I've had a lot of options put forward for what I could use instead. The Buffalo Jewel is a great one. And thank you very much to the Black Knight for the suggestions. Um, there are so many different ways you can do login, and, and I totally get that. And people have their preferred method, and there's all different ways. The beauty with this is you can get all the different attachments that go on the front end. So for a solo operation, you can swap the ends out, and um, I totally get for an experienced operator or a... <laughs> A qualified operator you can do it incredibly well and quite incredibly efficiently I am neither of those things I'm just doing it layman's terms you know how how am I doing it how will it work um, so yeah this if you swap the heads on and off you can use this to cut you can use this to lift and load you, you know it's a fantastic bit kit. there's also the excavators there's the Hitachi and the Lee pair 902 Leap Air 902 is cheap as chips, and I used that on Geiselsberg for tree felling, so I might go down that route. But what I'm going to do is clear a little bit first, we'll get a few logs onto the trailer, um, and then we'll kind of go from there, really. I need to bring the lorry up, so I have to go and get that. I've got to remember, what am I set on at the moment? Am I set on 11s? I have been told also, categorically, 6 metres is the best log length. I've always found 8s. And this is where we get into that realm I've said before of um, people's feedback. Everyone is adamant that what they do is correct and the best. I have been told categorically six metre lengths are the best and most profitable. I've also been told that between 10 and 12 is the most profitable. Above 12 you don't make any more money. You lose, it's just not worth doing longer lengths than 12 metres. Um, I always found eight was for me was always the best um, so you kind of find yourself in a bit of a dilemma what do you do sixes are easier for manipulation for moving around they're not as long not as unwieldy that kind of thing I think I'm gonna stick with well I think we've got to look at the lengths of the trees here because if I can't get two elevens out of these we might we might be in a sticky wicket so to speak so what I'm gonna do is close that off we are turned on. Great thing is we haven't got the hill to contend with, so I'll be able to put little neat piles that my um, telehand will be able to pick up. Actually, let's get lights on. That's a good idea. And let's cut the first tree. 
see where we stand. Should have gone close to the ground. So, let's go. I don't think we're going to get 211s, are we? Oh, just. Maybe with a little spindly bit on the end. So, do I drop that down to 10s? For these trees. That might potentially be a little bit better. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? We, you know, we'll end up losing a bit regardless. So, let, you know what? Let's just crack on. Clear a bit of land. We'll grind stumps. When I get to a point where I've got enough flat land cleared, we're going to get a bit of ploughing done and clearing. And we'll start with our first field. So, this is not just about making money, although we are going to make money from the lumber. Um, this is about clearing the land for getting our first bit of... In my first field on our property. Oh, I thought I would lose that silly bit in the end. Right, okay. We might have to pile up the silly bits. You know what makes me smile? It's all suddenly dawned on me. I've got a log cell point and a wood chip cell point just here. Um, um, what I might do is pile a load of logs up in there and just see what we get for a pile of logs in the cell point. I'll start off like that. If the price isn't that great up here at this one, then I don't mind transporting them. It just seems a bit daft having the cell point right here and not using it, doesn't it? Oh, that was good. Missed completely. <coughs> well done, Mr. P. Good effort. But it was just that. An effort. Let's try again. That's better. Now practice. Did an episode on Sussex. That's <laughs> all kinds of pieces. There we go, that's better. I'm assuming, but like I say, because I've put them here when I started, um, I'm concerned that because the two cell points overlap that it won't work, but it should do. I don't see why it wouldn't. I'm just curious. Actually, what I'll do, I'm going to sell that. Let's see what I'm going to get for one tree first, shall we? So, one tree, 4,484. That's not bad. Okay. Let's rock and roll. We can make a bit of cash here. We might do all right out of this. But it doesn't mean I haven't got to transport anything too far. Bit of luck, really. And that's, I'll be honest with you, complete and total luck. Like, I set it up here because it was kind of far enough away from the other cell point. So when I sort of was getting it all ready to go, I thought, yeah, this would be a nice spot to put it. And then it just so happened that the cheapest plots of land were here and the other one that I bought right on top of where this is so fortuitous I believe let's crack on so I can spend time loading the log point rather than the trailer all the little bits kind of I'll just throw them on there as well at the end of the day you don't get anything for the little bits in a wood chipper they just vanish so But this, this uh, modded pack with this, the log cell point and the wood chip one, it's brilliant. We are going to do some wood chipping. Oh yeah, I want to I want to say, while I'm doing this, I want to say a massive shout out to William. William, you know who you are. I had an in incredible conversation with William. He's got his own channel, does his own stuff as well. Uh, a lot of uh, logging, does a lot of logging stuff. Um... What an incredible, fascinating, interesting man with an incredible story. I'm not going to go into detail, but just, yeah, wow, inspirational. Um, so thank you, William, for taking the time to talk to me. And thank you for your service. I think that's all that needs to be said.
so I get 4,000, if I'm getting nearly 5 grand per tree, a full trailer would be way more. So what are we looking at? Hmm. Not bad. Let's keep rocking and rolling. So, I think then, once I've got a few more done, we'll look at, um, I think, there's not a lot of them to get around there, is there? Let's replace the uh, the tree fella, the harvester. I know I refer to it as a harvester, and some people would have said, you know, it is a, it's a tree harvester. I mean, harvest trees. There's no difference to any other crop harvesting piece of machinery. Um, it is a tree fella. I know it's not a fella buncher, it's, you know, but however you want to refer to it. Probably right in the way here with my own equipment, but. in stages. I need to get these stumps out of the way now. So, next job. Let's get a few of these stumps. Give myself a bit of a uh, bit better working room. And let's clear this. I think I'm going to replace the truck as well with my lorry. We're going to get something a bit more powerful. I'm not going to go Griffin size. I think I'm probably going to go with the man. The man uh, 33, the latest one from Black Sheep Modern, I think. Again, it's just an, an option. I think that's what I'm going to go with. So, next time you see me, we'll have a bit more of this cleared. I've stumps ground out. There might be a little bit of a, you know, I do my little montage bits. There might be a little bit of a, um, stump grinding. If I do decide to go and swap out the vehicle, I think I'm going to clear these logs and do that anyway. I've got enough money. I've got enough money to buy the things that I want. So we might do it anyway. I might have to get KJ Wiggums back, actually. Although, to be fair, going downhill, I should be right with the truck I've got. So, Right. Adios. Okay, I'm just about to load this up onto the lorry. I've turned it all around, ready to go, separated it so I can put it on the front one, and I've got my uh, D754. I, I did every single time I can never remember that number. Did I get it right? I did, yeah. <laughs> so this is all going to go back. Um, we are losing the lights, it's nearly 6 o'clock in the evening. I've got a load of logs piled up in the cell point, so we'll get a shot of those now before I head off. Fingers crossed. 50 grand, not bad at all. Um, as you see, the money has gone down dramatically. I have purchased some new equipment, that which we're going to be going to collect. Um, but that will be in the morning, I guess, once it's been delivered and we can go and get it. And we'll take these bits back, because obviously some of this is leased. And we'll get clobbered for leasing fees, but that's all right. Let's get this on. Going downhill, I'll be fine with the D754. That's a bit slippy on that. I 
lights off. Point. I need the loader. Oh, I might have to take a little bit of a hit on the uh, leasing fee for the Flegel SD SD three. This one, anyway. Let's see what I'm going to do. What I said I was going to do before. Let's knock the cruise control down roll that back, get that down to a really nice low speed so when I get to the hills I can almost put it like I say on hill descent so the engine doesn't run away and we don't end up with things falling off and that kind of stuff which is potential, I'm using my SATEC or well, Logitech heavy equipment side panel plugged into my PlayStation so as you can see bottom right hand corner the cruise control is rolling down I've got the little dial on there to roll it down and to click it on I can just press it and I can turn the cruise control on from there so what I might do is put it up to maybe 6 or 7 maybe so I'll drive normally and when we get there we'll knock that on actually when we get there it's right here isn't it let's knock on the cruise control Boom. should be right. now what's going to happen over the next um, well, I don't know next while is um, as of last night the UK is a kind of in pretty much a complete lockdown now um, therefore I have most of my children all of my children at home all working from home I've got three of them sitting at the dining room table to the right of me as I speak so if you hear noises whether it be computers whether it be chairs whether that that's what's going to happen. It's going to happen. I can't tell people to be absolutely silent while I'm recording. I'd love to be able to, but it's just a bit unfair, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, we'll just crack on. Make do and mend. I think we're back to that World War Two kind of thing, aren't we? Dunkirk spirit. Everyone's just got to muck in and get on with it. Do what needs to be done. Do the right thing at the right time. Make the correct moral decisions, I think, is probably the best thing. This is working perfectly with the cruise control on. Absolutely spot on. Good call, Mr. CDP. I'm happy with myself on that. When I get to the bottom, we're nearly there. I've got a flat bit, then we've got another hill. Cruise control off. And I'll go a little faster now, and then we we'll get to the next one. Whoa, that's a little bit steep. <laughs> so, yeah, we're flat along here, and then we go down another bit. So, I'm going to head back, drop all this off, um, and then I'll probably see you in the morning when we're collecting the new stuff. I won't do any logging until the morning. I could do more now, there's plenty of daylight, but obviously where the trees are it's getting a little bit darker and I need to sort this stuff out soon, so we might as well just crack on with it. What I have purchased is something I wanted and don't think because of something that was actually explained to me, I don't think it's necessarily going to be the right tool. No, it's the right tool. I'm not making any sense. I'll explain in the morning when we load up. I'll explain the situation. But it's something I haven't used yet and I really wanted to. So, uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. See you in the morning. This is where we're at. 7.26 in the morning. Down at the store. This is the equipment we bought. Obviously, the trailer is still leased. Uh, we've got this. Now, this is the Hitachi excavator. But... And the thing I was talking about when I wasn't making a lot of sense a little while ago uh, was that this head, um, you've got a lot of bit of a bit of slop and float around there. When you lift the boom, you get a lot of movement on that head, um, and it's a little bit more expensive than the, the lead pair. I, I use the lead pair on Geisersburg, so I thought, you know what, I'll give this one a go. We'll see what it's like. If it turns out it's, it's not great, then we can always sell it and buy the other one because this is 145 grand, I think it was. And the lead pair is only 99, and then with a few optional extras and changes and those kind of things. Um, I've got the man um, 33, we'll have a look at install, it's far easier. Um, so I've gone with the man 33 414 6x6. And what I've also done is gone with the trailer that goes with it, and I've gone with the 
just you know for kind of further down the line if i want to uh there's the back that goes on this and on the trailer that came with this pack i've got the wood container so i've got the trailer and the wood container on that i'm hoping i'll be able to hook that onto the back of here to take it all up and then at some point i could get another wood container but i can put the wood container on the trailer or on the back of this if i want to so the next thing to do then is to take this back and it might be a good time to see whether or not it will give us that option um, to repair and then sell. So, we jump out and go on to here. Right, so if I repair it now, and now press sell. Oh, okay. There we go. Thank you for all those people that suggested it. Uh, 51,284, so we'll make a bit of money back. Yes, we will sell it. Awesome. I've never encountered that before. How bizarre. So, next job then. Get all this up there. I may well get stuck on the hill again. I have got increased horsepower on. This is 400 and... Is it 414? Is that what's the 414? Um, so more horsepower than the 754 had. But potentially we might struggle. If we do, then we'll, we'll call in KJ Wiggum's International Rescue again and... We'll go from there. So let's get the back lifted. I don't know if the excavator. No, the excavator is moving the entire time on there. That was sat on there perfectly, and now it's all shifted to one side. That's really annoying. I really do not want to transport this thing. Using um. Well, I don't want to drive it up. It will take ages. Right, let's get up there as quickly as we can before it shifts any more. Right, let's see if we can get this trailer on the back. Let's get our lights on. Still fairly in the early in the morning, but I want to get this to work as soon as possible. Get as much done as we can during the day. Please look up. Please, please, please. So we are now hooked up in a bit of a land train, but we should be alright. Probably need to knock the cruise control back down again. Yep, let's roll that back. I'm going to take that down to about 20 until we get. Well, I don't think even a run up is going to help, but we'll give it. We'll give it our best shot. That's all I can do. Get that down to about 20 miles an hour, and we will crack on. See how much the excavator shifts on the way, but like I say, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. You know, a lot of this as well is about me trying out machinery I haven't used before. You know, whether it's right or wrong, or the best bit of machinery for the job or not, I want to try a few things out that I haven't used, mods that I haven't used, um, and give it a go. And if this doesn't, then I'll go to Leap Air. If the Leap Air doesn't, then I'll, you know, we'll go back to a traditional um, tree felling, tree harvesting piece of equipment, like a Scorpion King or the Komatsus, you know. Oh, I mean, there's loads of John Deere's as well. There's a load of John Deere logging equipment. I haven't even looked at that stuff.
Well, first hill, result. Second hill, didn't go quite to plan. I end up driving all the way up here. Uh, right, so that's parked up. We can disconnect that. That can go on there or there. We can get another one and have them both running. So if I want to do sixes or sevens, probably sixes, I can run a double load like that. That'll work. Um, or I can use this on our other logging trailers, which are just here. Um, so everything's looking good at the moment because we've got our sell point right here. I've got trees to cut down. I've got a spill to clear. Let's open up the header. I think I already set it to 11 metre cuts. I'm pretty sure I did. Let's have a look. Yep, cut length 11 metres. You see what I mean as we move that arm. See the movement in the head? Unfortunately, you get a little bit of movement. But it's not too bad. So let's I mean what I can do and what I was trying to do a little while ago was actually cut them and bring them and cut them here onto the cell point so they haven't actually got to use the um, the telehandler as much either which is an option so and this obviously comes with attachments too there's a lot of wobble on that front end but we'll do our best That's funny. It's not funny. There we go. Back up. Top away. I suppose because it's quite slow, this process could take a little bit longer doing it this way. Whereas the tally hands a little bit faster, but swing it out to the side like that. Probably need to turn that as well. Yep, I'm gonna hit the cab. Oh. Should have turned it first like I did before. Right, so if we swing that like that. Move that a little bit that direction. Yeah, it might be the lead pair, might be the... It's all over the shop, that is. Why is that swinging like that? Where is the front? Mm. We'll have to see with this. Swing that that way now. Yeah. Do our best. That's all I can do. I think maybe doing them in situ might be the best bet. So what I'll do is if I swing the head completely that way, and then come up on them like that. That. that way, come on, Get the right way. Hmm, I'm not finding this particularly intuitive, but okay. I didn't have this much trouble when I used the lead pair. Now the head's decided to move in a completely different direction again. That's all it is, I think. It's a new bit of machinery. It's its own little idiosyncrasies. Then you just need to get your head round. Yeah, the tree keeps falling the opposite direction. Even though you're pulling the arm away, it's going the opposite way. That's not great. It's then the problem you've got now is it wants to go all over the shop. That's a bit better, but... liking that so much. So that's now going to pull right into the cab. I'm just not trying to. Oh, 
Yeah, that's head's too wobbly. Might be we're gonna have to go back to Lipa, you know. I'm thinking. Oh, I'll give it a bit more time. See how we get on. I'm still finding it's a little bit horrible. We'll uh, we'll switch. Yeah, it's just too much slop in that. It's just rocking the entire time. Which I know it, in the real world, because the attachments, they would be moving. But at some point they would find a balance. But this doesn't seem to want to know. Finding a sweet spot for cutting as well. Mind of its own. As you can see, things have changed somewhat. Uh, I could not get on with the other one at all. I've cut a load of trees down. Um, they all need to be manhandled and moved into place onto the cell point. Oh, I did get deck chairs overnight. Just get through the first night until we can clear a bit of land. Um, I might still keep those actually and then we'll work on, we'll get some building supplies up here. All the logs that go to the sawmill we might buy some timber back and we'll build ourselves a little cabin I think is what we're going to be aiming for. Um, yeah so we've gone for the Leaper 902, we've got the track version, um, I've got the head there on the on the back, I just lifted the um, dozer blade to stop that moving out of there and I also got the grapple. I'm going to have a fiddle around with trying to do a kind of, you know, I'll cut and then maybe grapple. I've got the telly handy there if I need to use it, which I probably would end up using it, but... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's weird. It's because I swung the whole thing round to get the blade in the right place. So we've got it around the right way now, so when I reverse, I do actually reverse. There we go. And having the blade on there as well means, if I want to, um, I can raise and lower the blade and I can use that for manipulating logs around to get them next to each other, for lining them up, that kind of stuff, if I want to do that too. Um, actually, what I will do, let's put... Uh, get the right movement, that's the right one. Let's open that out, like so. And drop that there. then we'll crack on. So yeah, all changed. As it turned out, uh, the other one, I, I got into the sale point, um, it did require a little bit of repair. It was offering me 120, no, it was offering me 102,000 or 107,000 for it if I sold it um, like online as it were. In the sale point, it gave me 128, I think it was. And I think I only paid 145 for it. Um, this one, with the blade, um, and the forestry cage as well came in at 91, 92,000. So that's why we got a little bit more money back in the bank account. Happy days. Um, right, let's open the header on that. The header seems a lot smaller on this one. I don't think it's a bigger one. But I used this on Geiselsberg and it worked no problem at all. I think that might have been one of my concerns on Geiselsberg. That it's the same thing, that it might not work properly. Let's drop that forward a little bit. Lights. Yeah, there's a bit of movement on this one as well. Hang on. I think I know why. 
Oh, that's the blade. Have I got the head tilted? Yeah, head's tilted. That could be why. There we go. We got the really <laughs> Out. Already much better. Already easier to handle. You little beauty. Right. So, I think now it's about time to do a little bit of clearing, get some of these logs um, where they need to be. I might have a bit of a fiddle with the grapple, actually. Let's yeah. Drop that there. I'm going to grab the grapple and give that a go. It doesn't matter when they're going to the cell point if they're particularly well um, lined up, but on the log trailer it would make more sense if they were lined up better, but that's how it works, shall we? Cab open. Let's raise that to about there. Take that. That way. I've got my side panel. What I might be able to do it doesn't give me all the controls, that's the thing. But I can rotate the head with my side panel. I can close the grapple and open the grapple too. It doesn't give me the tilt function, but. Let's give it a go. So. Open the head. Is that open as far as it will go? Yep, that is. Close it up. <laughs> Through that gap. I noticed as well, I've got snow on the roof of the. Um, <laughs> At the cell point. I might have done if I picked the wrong one, maybe. Ah! Do that. And then if we do that. Job done. Great thing is, I can swing it round. Rotate the head a bit. Like that. Drop it down and grab that one. Just requires a bit of bit of practice, we'll get there. Open it up. Out a little bit, a little bit. Can I get away? I've not quite got that. Maybe, maybe not. I don't think I'm quite low enough, am I? No, I need to tilt the head. Let's tilt it a bit, try again, close it up. <laughs> we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Let's get more into the habit of the fact because I can 
remove, uh, rotate the cab as well. I'm, I'm kind of forgetting that I can do that too. I'm so used to using other bits of equipment. Open it up, drop it down, lift that back up again. No, wrong way, that way. Up we come. I'll just give that a bit of a shifty, I think. Uh, drop that down to there. Use the dozer blade button. Cool. I'm going to crack on, clear a bit more of this up, get it all onto the cell point, and then uh, we'll make a bit more money, carry on clearing, and uh, see where we're at. Oh, I'm having fun doing this. This is cool. A fair bit of time has passed. Oh, it's 20, nearly half past nine. We've cleared from here all the way back to there. I'm clearing the stumps as I go, so I do a load of logs, then do a load of stumps, and then move forward. We are getting there. Oh, grab that. Not that it makes a huge amount of difference, but we'll grab it just to get it out of the way so tracks don't get caught up on it and things like that. That uh, 902 is working so much better. And I've built up a fair old pile of logs here. So, next thing to do is going to be to sell them. And then carry on. Um, I'm just going to continue working my way backwards. The inexorable march across. And then we'll... Um, I mean, like I say, this plot goes right the way back to where it starts to slope up. Is where our boundary ends. There's a bit of a swamp land just up here. And this is all flat. So once we get to that point, we can then start to plough out. I need to find a spot where I want to put my hut, house, whatever I'm going to go with. I haven't decided yet. We'll have a think about that. So, what are we going to make off this lot? 90,965. Not bad. I was hoping for over 100. I should have just carried on piling up, but that's not bad going. Um, so, there we go. That's that bit gone. Uh, the low loader can probably go back now, actually. I don't need that. Yeah, because we're going to keep the excavator up here. Um, if we do need to move it at any point, if we buy another plot and move again, we'll just lease it again. So that'll go back at some point. But I need to carry on. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll carry on. I'm not sure when I'll see you again. But I will see you again. Don't worry. I'm loving it. I love the sound of this thing as well. I think it's fantastic. just seems more intuitive, it just works better, I, I don't know. It's good, let's just say that. See you in a bit. I have cleared a load more, 
and I'm working my way back, which I'm going to continue to do so. I'm going to continue grinding the stumps out and I'm going to continue working my way back. Um, what I am thinking of doing probably in the next episode now, because I'm very conscious of time, um, is I'm going to lease something that's going to make moving these to the cell point, which is just there, a little bit easier and a bit quicker. I've been using this with the crane, uh, with the grab, and I've been using the telehandler too. But I think, yeah, I think we need to speed that process up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to carry on. We have come to the end of this episode. We've got some new machinery. We had a bit of a, you know, bit of a gaff with the first one, but this thing is way, way better. So I'm very happy with this. So, so I'm, having a, I'm having a bit of a think for the next one. Um, we need to get this cleared as quickly as possible. I want to start getting my farmland done. I want to start thinking about a building, a farmhouse, even if I just go for a placeable or like a, a building um, and then just have the deck chairs outside or something like that. I don't know. There's all different ways around I can do it, so I'm having a think. But anyway, we have come to the end of another episode. I hope you're still enjoying it, or you are, have enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then of course, please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.